this with focus, baby. You can manifest what you're really after. I will indulge if you take the lead for us. The invitation is yours for the grabbing. To a new video so I decided that today I'm gonna be doing a day in my life video I thought it'd be like a little bit more interesting like I know I've been doing my weekly vlogs and everything but this week Sophie, <laughs> this week I'm going to Durban for a creative exchange which is something that we have to do for our honors 
So, I decided that I'd film a little bit more of an in-depth day in my life video. So today I have to go to class. It's Tuesday, by the way. I have class that starts at 11 till 4. Sorry, Sophie's just like, whenever she gets comfortable, she just starts snoring. Like, um, Yeah, so I have class at 11 till 4 and then... Because Monday yesterday was a holiday here in South Africa, I didn't go to boxing because it was closed. So I'm gonna go to boxing today at half past four. So after that, then I'll come home and I don't know exactly what I'm doing <laughs> when I get home. I don't know if I'll have work or something, but yeah, I'm just gonna take you along for a more in-depth day in my life and then I can also just show you a little bit more of like what I get up to at uni and the vibes you know <laughs> so I thought that that would be kind of fun uh yeah also just because I have like I will be keeping to the weekly vlogs it's just this week I think it's just better if I do this daily vlog because literally when I land on Friday and Saturday in Durban I'm doing so much stuff that I don't think I'll be able to edit whilst I'm there. So I don't want to cut the week short, like too short and trying to edit on like a Thursday night when I literally have to be at the airport at like four in the morning. So I decided that a day in my life would be a little bit more fun and it's something that's going to be a lot more in depth, as I said. And yeah, I'm... What? What? Are you having a conversation? Hmm? <sniffs> but yeah, so I'm excited to take you guys along. Um, I showed you like a little sneak peek of my very slow morning. Uh, yeah. I did have my morning routine down, but I don't know what it is but I'm just having all this lazy energy right now where I'm just like trying to take things slow and I've just been listening to my body um I haven't been forcing myself to do my morning routine exactly and forcing myself to do things that I'm actually just not in the mood um I've actually been listening to my body and it's been good for the most part but I feel like sometimes it it's like a little bit counterproductive but it's okay. Anyways, so you saw like a very basic version of my morning routine. Um, so until I have that completely down, then I'll probably film a morning routine video. But for now, this basic morning routine thing that I have going is kind of what it is. Um, besides on the odd days, um, Monday, Wednesday and Friday when I usually go to boxing, but otherwise that's my that's my mornings <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go and get ready now and yeah I'll just let you get ready with me hey Soph hey are you chilling this is my child Say bye. See you now now. Hmm? Approach this with focus, baby. You can manifest what you're really after. I will indulge if you take the lead. I just showered um, I'm gonna do my skincare now but if you guys want to see my skincare routine I do have that up on my channel nothing's actually changed I'll be honest with you um, so yeah I'll leave the card Is it up here I don't know I'll leave the card like in one of these corners for my skincare routine if you want to watch that Approach 
Watch this with focus, baby You can manifest what you really after I will indulge if you take the lead for us Invitation is yours for the grabbing ready i'm wearing my burnt studios set it's the sahara sand um just because obviously i'm going to boxing and it's always such a mission like i learned my lesson um when i was like going to boxing after class on yeah like after class in january it was just such a mission um changing and like running late and everything so not happening i am dressed in my kit it's not like it's ugly it's really nice so it's fine um so i'm dressed in that i have my air forces on but now i'm just like do i keep my head down and then put like a, a cap or do i put my hair up in a bun i don't know i can't decide so i might just do my makeup first and decide after that like see how i feel about my face <laughs> okay so i think i'm gonna just tell you guys what i do for my everyday makeup um because <laughs> i really don't do a lot i just try and do like the bare minimum um I don't try and do the very minimum. It's just that's what I like uh, for every day because it just looks very natural. First things first, I start off with concealer and like mine's almost done. But it's my trusty Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser <laughs> Concealer. And all I do is I literally put it in the corners of my eyes. And like that uh, just to lift my eyes and then because I had like a stupid breakout <laughs> I'll just cover up all my spots so then I literally just do my under eyes so if I don't have spots I'll just do my under eyes and that's it I use my ring fingers to blend it out I used to be an avid beauty blender fan I don't clean it every day it's just such a mission to clean it especially when you're in a rush like and I'd much rather just use my fingers to blend out everything because the heat from your fingers is obviously warm and it'll like soften the product and then it'll just blend into your skin a lot better at least that's what I found obviously everyone's different if you like your beauty blender and you clean it every day great <laughs> basically i use this multi blush from l'oreal i think no clarence and yeah i just take my two fingers and so where you would put highlighter is where i put my blush and then i literally take like the tiniest bit and i apply it to the tip of my nose i'm gonna take the Benefit Sunbeam um, highlighter and I am going to apply it literally over my blush just also when you're covering up 
zits and stuff and you apply concealer I don't know I never used to do this but I don't actually blend it out on top of the zit like I blend it out around it and that's actually how you cover them so I did not know that so in case you did not know now you know I literally just take this elf um, powder palette and I take this shade here just to set my eyes um, I obviously don't like having a cakey look but then also I don't want to not have makeup on in like three hours of the day so as you know been an eyelash curler girl since I was 15 <laughs> so I don't ever not use an eyelash curler I even sometimes won't even put mascara on I'll literally just curl my eyelashes and like good to go um, it really just depends on how I'm feeling mascara I use is this roller lash from Benefit it's actually the best mascara ever like does not clump up it is the most natural looking mascara so a little bit on the pricier side but would highly recommend it mascara is done now it's time for eyebrows <laughs> okay so basically for eyebrows which i've like told everyone how i do them so i literally use kix pure soap um and then i melt it and put it in this little thing well i don't my dad does but yeah and then just wet my little spoolie and then i and then i brush them <laughs> makeup is done um still don't know what to do with my hair i think i might just leave it down like it looks it looks okay <laughs> i don't know but i was just thinking like maybe it'll also look cute in a bun so i don't know should i wear like the cap <laughs> with like the shirt and yeah like this is kind of the idea i had but at the same time my ears just sticking out anyways <laughs> at the same time i'm like should i put it in a button but i think i think i'm gonna go with the baseball cap i feel like a pinterest girl right now <laughs> uh i think i might keep it i genuinely think i might stay like this today um, I think the the cap is cute, the shirt looks cute, the sneakers, yeah, this is the outfit guys. <laughs> okay, I have just been working in Notion, just like figuring out like my budgeting thing and everything because it is the end of the month and I just wanted to like figure out everything like where my money's gone and everything and like just make sure that I'm on par with all my expenses and everything so did that um, sent some stuff to my lecturer for him to see before my consultation this afternoon and it's 10 to 10 so I'm gonna leave here at, I think 10 uh, maybe just get there a bit earlier, set up, also maybe film a bit <laughs> because I tend to get there like on time and then I can't really show me coming into class and stuff so I think I might get there earlier just so I can show you like the atmosphere so yeah I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go make myself a coffee so I can take it there because we are trying to be budget friendly environmentally friendly and i'm not paying 30 rand for a shitty coffee at the academy i got no offense to them but that coffee just tastes like ass <laughs> i'm gonna take my own i'm gonna go make that now and yeah the 
I'm heading to the academy now. It's five past ten and I'll probably get there maybe quarter to two. Um, yeah. So, usually I will listen to a podcast in the car. Um, the podcast I really love is Mindset, Magic and Manifestation by Michaela J. I would highly suggest it. Uh, I think it's the best podcast ever. She's super, super inspiring. She just makes you feel in such... Like, she just puts you in such a good mood and just makes you feel unstoppable. <laughs> so, yeah. I usually watch her. I mean, I usually listen to her uh, or I'll just listen to her music in the car. But anything to set me up for the day. Um, I like the podcast usually early in the mornings, but when it's like around about this time I will not really mind if I listen to a podcast or music um, yeah anyways I'm gonna uh, head out now well I am heading out but I'll chat to you guys when I get to the Academy I just got here. It is quarter to 11. So, yeah, I have a little bit of time to kill, which usually isn't the case. I usually like arrived like five minutes before. Um, but as I said, I want to just show you guys a little bit. So, yeah, that's it. this with focus baby you can manifest what you're really after I will indulge hi guys I didn't record any much of my boxing session like I recorded a snippet on my phone because I was in such a rush running in there left my camera like my hair was down I was like barely had like my shoes on type of vibe I didn't have my wraps on because on my way here someone decided that it would be fun to bump me um, but it's fine everything's fine um, my car's okay I'm okay just it was kind of like it was like a slight bump in the back of my car but thankfully everything's like chilled um, like nothing's bad my car's undamaged I'm okay it was just like an inconvenience because now I was like on the highway it's, it's like almost peak traffic time you know and like I was kind of like I just got flustered and I was like flustered running into class like I never go to park where I usually park because I'm parked here in the underground parking which I now have to pay for <laughs> um, usually I park like that's disgusting usually I pay f um, I don't pay for parking I park a road down for my boxing but it is what it is today we just we had to make that 15 round sacrifice but it's okay um anyways boxing was really good but it was super tough it was literally just like intense arms the entire time and whew, my arms are my weakest body part anyway so that's kind of why I never got to film. I left my camera in the car. I was in such a rush to just get into class and start. And I was even just in a rush putting my st stuff on. I really needed to wee the entire time of I was um, doing the warm up. And then like, I needed to wee. And then someone was in the bathroom changing for the next session. And like, oh, it was just a process. So I'm sorry. I really couldn't film that. But just a little life update on, on the last literally hour of my life. Um, yeah, I'll chat to you guys a little bit more when I get home. Approach 
the day and how classes went actually went really like well in my opinion had like a couple of debates and then like yeah overall it was a good day I have a lot more clarity on this presentation that I meant to do for tomorrow and I actually have quite a lot to do because I didn't really understand what I like I misinterpreted what I needed to do so I'm not wrong I just need to like rework what I've done so yeah I need to do that although it's already quarter past nine so I might just take a look at it and see what I can do but realistically I'm gonna do it tomorrow start finish it tomorrow that's the reality unfortunately usually not something I enjoy doing things last minute but it's fine um, guess first time for everything <laughs> yeah if I'm gonna just take a look at that and then when I'm done with that I probably will either watch Blacklist which I'm enjoying so far like it's really really good I'm on season two somewhere not sure what episode but I'm on season two already it's really really good I don't think I'd like it because I'm not very much a you know like a police FBI series girl but I'm really enjoying this so I don't know if you also are like me and don't really like those kind of things maybe try it because it's actually quite good or a uh, second thing that I might do is read and I'm currently reading Corrupt by Penelope Douglas and so far so good like I can't complain um I watched this girl on YouTube I think her name's Stephanie can't remember but I'll leave her in the description down below because she does great book recommendations like and she like categorizes them and everything but I do think I didn't know which book I was reading I just picked like one of them because I have like a couple of them downloaded so I just picked one to read and I think this is like the one that takes like a very dark turn and I think she did say Penelope Douglas takes dark turns in her books so I don't know if I'm excited like I've been like I've been reading it quite quickly but then like I think it's gonna take like a dark turn now and I don't know if I'm ready for it but I'm gonna read it so yeah maybe I'll read that or maybe I'll watch Blacklist it just depends on like my brain and like what I want to do thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me I love you all and yeah i can't wait to see you guys next week with my durban creative exchange vlog bye guys <laughs>